Number 17 on the multi-step inequalities worksheet. Negative 5n plus 6 is greater than or equal to negative 7 times the quantity 5n minus 6 minus 6n. I'm going to start by distributing this negative 7. We'll have negative 5n plus 6 on the left since we did nothing to the left hand side and we'll have negative 35n minus a negative 42 so plus a positive 42 minus 6n on the right. Then I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms on that right hand side. Negative 5n plus 6 is still on the left hand side and that's greater than or equal to negative 35 plus a negative 6n or minus a 6n which will be negative 41n plus 42. I'll go ahead and add 41n to both sides and while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and subtract 6 from the left. And whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. Negative 5n plus 41n will be 36n. And that's going to be greater than or equal to 42 minus 6 is 36. Divide both sides by 36. And I'll get that n is greater than or equal to 1. As the solution to this inequality n is greater than or equal to 1, so I'm going to circle the 1, fill that in, and shade everything to the right. Number 18, we have 3 times the quantity p minus 3 minus 5p is greater than negative 3p minus 6. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 at the start, and while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and just add 5p to both sides. 3 times p is 3p, 3 times 3 is 9, so 3p minus 9 is greater than negative 3p plus 5p is a positive 2p minus 6. Then I'll subtract 2p from both sides, and I'll also add 9 to both sides. That way the 9s will cancel out and the 2p's will cancel out. That'll leave me with 1p, which is p, is greater than negative 6 plus 9 is a positive 3. p is greater than 3. Circle the 3 and shade everything to the right. Number 19, 28 minus k is greater than or equal to 7 times k minus 4. 7 goes into 28 evenly, but it doesn't go into negative 1k evenly, so I'm going to distribute that 7. I'll have 28 minus k is greater than or equal to 7k minus 28. I'll add a k to both sides and I'll add a 28 to both sides so that the k's will cancel out and the 28's on the right hand side will cancel out. 28 plus 28 is going to give me 56 and that's going to be greater than or equal to 8k. Divide both sides by 8 to get that 7 is greater than or equal to positive k. You could also write this as k is less than or equal to 7. Circle the 7, shade it in, and then shade everything to the left as well since k is less than or equal to 7. For number 20, we have 28 minus 7x is less than or equal to negative 4 minus 7x minus 7. Let's go ahead and distribute this negative 4. So I'm not doing anything to the left, so I'll rewrite the left-hand side. 28 minus 7x is less than or equal to negative 4 times negative 7 is a positive 28x. Negative 4 times a negative 7 again, if this was adding a negative, is going to be plus a positive 28. I'll add 7x to both sides to get that 28 is less than or equal to 35x plus 28 and then I'll subtract 28 from both sides to get that 0 is less than or equal to 35x and when I divide by 35 0 divided by any number is just 0. So 0 is less than or equal to x. And if you want the variable on the left, if you feel more comfortable looking at it that way, 
you can have x is greater than or equal to 0. When I graph that, I'll circle the 0, shade it in, and then shade everything to the right, since x is greater than or equal to 0. In number 21, we have negative 6 times 1 plus 7k plus 7 times 1 plus 6k is less than or equal to negative 2. I'm going to start by distributing the negative 6. And while I'm at it, I'll also distribute the 7, since there are two distributions that need to happen on the left-hand side. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, plus negative 6 times 7k is a negative 42k, plus 7 times 1 is 7, plus 42k is less than or equal to negative 2. Now I'll go ahead and combine like terms. I'm going to combine the negative 6 and the 7, and I'm also going to combine the negative 42k and the positive 42k. Negative 6 plus 7 is a positive 1, plus negative 42 plus 42 is 0 k. So that's just going to be 0 is less than or equal to negative 2. When I simplify this, I'll get that 1 is less than or equal to negative 2. And we know that that's not possible since 1 is greater than negative 2. So this has no solution. So there's no value that we can plug in for this k to make this inequality true. Therefore, there's no solution and nothing to graph. For number 22, I'm going to go ahead and write this as plus a negative 4x plus 5. So we're going to distribute the negative 4. And we're also going to distribute this negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x, but that's subtracted, so we're going to add a positive 4x plus negative 4 times x is a negative 4x plus negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, and that's all less than or equal to negative 24. Now we're going to combine like terms. We're going to combine the negative 4 and the negative 20, and we're also going to combine the 4x and the negative 4x. Negative 4 plus negative 20 is going to be negative 24. 4x plus a negative 4x is 0x, or 0, and that's going to be less than or equal to negative 24. Negative 24 plus 0 is negative 24, and that's going to be less than or equal to negative 24. And this inequality is true. Negative 24 is less than or equal to negative 24 because negative 24 does equal 24. So the solution to number 22 is all real numbers. And the real numbers can be written like this. That means that we can plug any number we want in for that variable x and it will make this inequality true. So when we go to graph this, we're going to shade in the entire number line. So if you want to, go ahead and test it out. Plug in 1 for x, plug in 5 for x, plug in negative 4 for x, and see that this inequality will always be true. Number 23, we have 3 times 1 minus 2x is greater than 3 minus 6x. I'm going to start by dividing by 3 since both the 3 and the 6 are divisible by 3. That'll leave me with 1 minus 2x on the left, and that's going to be greater than 1 minus 2x on the right. Since 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6x divided by 3 is 2x. Now you'll notice that 1 minus 2x is the same as 1 minus 2x, so we already know that those two are equal but it's telling us that one of them is greater than the other. So right away, we can see that this will be no solution. And if you want to do a little bit more of the math, you can go ahead and add 2x to both sides so that the 2x's will cancel out, and you can see that 1 greater than 1 is not true. So therefore, there is no solution for number 23. Let's go on to our last problem of this worksheet, number 24. 
negative 2 times 5 plus 6n is less than 6 times 8 minus 2n. I know that this 6 is divisible by 2, so I'm going to start by dividing both sides by a negative 2. When I divide by a negative 2, I'm going to have to flip the inequality. So I'll have 5 plus 6n on the left hand side, and that's going to be greater, since I'm flipping the inequality, than 6 divided by negative 2 is a negative 3 times 8 minus 2n. Now I'm going to distribute this negative 3. So as opposed to having to do two distributions in the beginning, I only have to do one. 5 plus 6n remains on the left side, and that's greater than negative 3 times 8 is negative 24, minus negative 3 times 2n is a negative 6n. So if we're subtracting a negative, we're going to add a positive 6n. Now I'm going to subtract 6n from both sides, and you'll get that 5 plus 0 is greater than negative 24 plus 0. And this is true. 5 is greater than negative 24. So that means that any value we plug in for n will make this inequality true. So our solution is all real numbers. So we can go ahead and shade in the entire number line. And if you want to, go ahead and test. Plug in a negative 6 for n, and you'll see that this side of the inequality is indeed less than this side of the inequality. Or plug in 0. Let's go ahead and plug in 0 now. If we plug in 0 for n, we know that both of these terms will become 0. So then we're left with negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. And that is indeed less than 6 times 8, which is 48. So this inequality is true for all real numbers. And that finishes the multi-step inequality worksheet. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.